Hi guys, this week we're going to talk about passive income, but before that, we have a quick look at this video. I do not think the American dream should be buying a home anymore. Mm. I think it's full Tell me more of that It's yeah. It's a bad use of upfront capital, and it ties you up, Correct. and it's just not smart. It's not going to appreciate, and, not and, the way and you want thing? Real Is quick, let me tell you the difference between a Lambo and owning your own home. I'm looking at some people here, we're all looking at each other, right? You just don't know if you own the home or not. <laughs> like you don't have to know. Yeah. Like I know you're driving a fucking Lambo. I see it. But you live in a home. I actually have no fucking clue how much mortgage you have on that home. You do you it, rent, it, rent it? Right? right? Whether, I'm whether telling you this thing. And, th and by the way, this is my thesis to why it will fall. Oh, come on, Gary. Are you being serious here? You're having to compare um, property with Lamborghini. Now, if you ask me, Gary, if you ask me whether to, should I invest in property or should I invest in the, uh, the Lamborghini, obviously I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna invest in Lamborghini, right? Now, come on guys, disclaimer, just kidding, just kidding, you don't have, you don't buy a Lamborghini, right? You buy, it's very obvious, you buy property, right? Today we're gonna talk about passive income. So you have to look into the property instead of uh, the Lamborghini. Now he also made a comment says that if nobody's, if you're going to stay in the house, nobody knows um, are you going to own the property or you're renting the property. But did you know Gary is exactly the same thing? If you were to drive a Ferrari on the road, nobody is going to know if you're renting the Ferrari or you own the Ferrari, right? These days people can rent a supercar. It's nothing, uh, nothing so great about it. So, so what, right? But anyway, I, I really cannot agree with this guy on this because he's an influencer and then if he makes such remark, people will follow him to buy a supercar instead of having to invest in property, which is, um, I think it's, uh, there's really something wrong with it, right? So, but anyway, um, we could come back to passive income. Right, so if you haven't followed me on Facebook, on Instagram, please follow me here. This is what every week I'm gonna share great videos with you guys and news updates. And don't forget to subscribe to rapidpropertyconnect.com, right? This is where we're gonna share a lot of information about um, property news and updates. Anyway, um, I don't agree with the, uh, the Gary having to uh, make a remark saying that should, uh, it's very obvious that we don't buy property, however, we buy Lamborghini. That's stupid. However, this guy uh, made the, um, in the live event where he sh answered the quick uh, question and answer about the passive income, which I think I agree with him almost 99%, right? Have a look into this. Passive income looks like this. You take money that you can afford to go to zero and you put them in the two places that have historically created passive income. Public markets that you don't care if it goes up and down and you just wait to the end or real estate and you hope that your real estate area doesn't get crushed. Everything else almost doesn't exist. Now there are two ways, he said, there are two things. If you want to, if you want to have a passive income, there are only two ways that the, uh, you can do right, to get the passive income, right, let me break this up. Now, in order to create the passive income, the key to passive income is this, you need to have the afford to lose it. This is the, uh, one of the, uh, the thing in every investment because there's no such thing as investment that guarantee 100% with, with zero risk, no such investment whatsoever, right? There's always a risk in any kind of investment. After all, it's called investment. So, like I said, any kind of investment, make sure you afford to lose it, right? And then, uh, he said that you can almost literally, the only two types of investment where can create um, passive income, which is stock market and real estate. So almost only these two can, can do it, which I agree with him. It's not that every time I, I disagree with Gary, but this is I have to really, really um, agree with him that um, besides stock market and real estate, I'm not sure what kind of uh, uh, vehicle out there that you can generate a passive income, right? But obviously, 
passive income for stock market you will get a dividend every year and the rental from property now the best part of having the uh, the property is that the rental income beside the all the gone process assuming he said assuming if you rent in the property in, in the area that it's not going to crash and that's why we done a lot of research we done groundwork we we talk to the uh, the owner we do research we do comparison and then we we find the lawyer we do all the transaction and then we take vacant possession once we take vacant possession we do renovation once we done with renovation and then we do advertisement to the people to come once the tenant comes in boom that's where we start the cash flow now property and the and the stock market is the same where in terms of capital appreciation in the future they will increase now property on the other hand the uh, the benefits is that it creates cash flow right we done a lot of um, research so make sure that the, the rental can actually cover the installments when your installment when your income when when your your rental is able to cover your your um, installments then you have a positive cash flow so that's a beauty of having a property where you get both right the property um, unlike, un un unlike if you buy the Bukit Bruntong area but other than that if you've done your research property your property so should appreciate 3% per annum according to NAPIC right and then if you select your property correctly you get um, a good rental coming out from there so you get both from one property which i don't think the the stock market can do so this is something that the um we always encourage people to buy um property so that they can create a passive income now please by all means do not think twice when it comes to lamborghini or property you have to go for a property so when you have a passive income more than an active income so you technically you become financially free so all the things will be taken care of you don't you, you technically you don't need to work hard to create income so before we finish i finish this video i want to share with you guys that um it's the same from the people from hong kong it's the same from people anywhere in the world unless you're working um the main how many people that they can have so much income from their active job right so not many the majority of us we need to create a second income or we need to do investment so one of the thing is from what i know is um like gary said stock market and um property so make sure you need to allocate certain funds from your income to do investment you got to do investment right regardless if you are a f new grad or you are a recent um, recent uh, the first job or anything you need to start think of how to um, do um, any kind of investment to create the passive income right so if you guys have uh, we all the, there are only two two things that i know that can create the passive income if you guys know any any kind of uh, vehicle um, that can create passive income please share in the comments then we can see to benefit everyone that what kind of uh, investment that really can get the uh, the passive income all right so so far as far as i know not many that can have a solid um that have solid and secure and lower risk right so yeah maybe you guys can share but mind you guys no mlm no no money game if i see that that kind of um share in the comments i'll delete it straight away all right so so make it a good place for the people to learn until next week we go, i'm gonna share more exciting videos all right see you guys